Oh boy. This sure looks like a pretty good hunting haul for shotgun shells for one day. morning guys so we're back at my uh my favorite spot the cove and uh i just tried to find a little hidden area outside of the wind because it is windy today as it often gets this time of year in fall transitioning into win winter cold and windy so um yeah just uh, hunkering down for a moment just to <laughs> say good morning as i head out to uh do a collection type that i've wanted to do since i first started finding these which was to collect shotgun shells so as you know, if you've uh, seen some of these other videos uh, recently, I've been trying to go out and collect specific types of trash. I mean, just go back to last week's with the tennis balls and you know how that goes uh, in terms of how many crazy amounts of uh, specific types of trash there are to collect. So um, yeah, I've always wanted to do one specifically about shotgun shells because I do find a lot of them. And I think it's interesting how they get to different places over time. So. Yeah, let's head on out, see how many we can collect. As always, you never know how many of what type of trash you're going to find, but uh, today's gonna be shotgun shells, or at least we're gonna try and see how many we find. So let the shotgun shell hunting begin, I suppose, and uh, let's get trashed. Alright, well, that was quite the shotgun shell hunt. As I did some very rudimentary research, as I normally do when I try to collect a specific type of plastic, I sort of learned that there are variations of shells. So you'll see I found a lot sort of like this one that are kind of longer. They look like, I don't know, I think they look like the Falcon 9 rocket boosters or something like that. Um, and then there's these more sort of traditional ones, right? That. Uh, it's hard to focus on, but yeah, you see they got the, the longer bodies and then sort of the, uh, I guess, exit part of where the shotgun shell stuff comes out. And if you look on the other sides of them, that's sort of where I think the boom happens to shoot everything else out. Now, there are these longer ones and then there are these ones, I think they're called wads. Uh, I think they're part of the shells. They, they like go in the other shells. I don't know, I'm not an expert on shotgun shells, so 
as I normally say, those of you who maybe are either uh, here on YouTube or where I post on Reddit or Twitter or other places, if you have more insights about these different types of shotgun shell plastic, I would love to know. But between the shells themselves and the wads, I collected, I believe, 25. Uh, I have to go back and check exactly, but there's a lot of them. And that's in just an hour of cleaning up around this local harbor and then on the beach side, the, the uh, ocean side, essentially. Um, yeah, 25, which is quite a haul for just one hour. I mean, if I wanted to take the full afternoon, I, I'm sure I would have found maybe close to 100, which is crazy <laughs> when you think about um, how much these add up. So yeah, I think there's a lot to say about how some of these are washing up from places where people are doing different types of hunting. I uh, actually did a, hosted a brewery beach clean, shout out to Port Jeff Brewing, my local brewery, because they uh, hosted a beach clean up with me uh, right in our local harbor. And I was talking to some of the locals who came out and they said, right in the neighborhood next door on the harbor, I think that people do, I, I guess, bird hunting with shotguns. So I guess these cases are just fly out and they're just left to collect in other places. And of course, as you have seen watching the montage of me collecting these wads and shells, they sort of collect within the tide lines, right? So they might get washed out in one place by the tides, brought out by the tides, and then they collect in other places where, I mean, I'm the only person here today because it's sort of moving on into winter. The weather's a little windier. Like I said, I this is why I like cove cleaning as well, because you're shielded from the wind a little bit more. And it, uh, you can probably still hear it a little bit. I apologize for any wind interference, but if you know anything about beach cleaning or just being outside in the winter on the water, it, the wind is not fun. <laughs> so these cove cleans are pretty great this time of year. I mean, they're great every time of year because this is beautiful scenery, but uh, particularly great uh, now uh, with uh, a little bit windier conditions sometimes in that cold air. So yeah, you know, I was surprised that I didn't find as many of the red ones. I usually find a lot of red shotgun shells but a lot of green ones today, a lot of the black ones, I think maybe because these blend in more and people might see the red ones and pick them up. And especially these clear ones can be hard to spot too, unless you are looking for them. And of course I was looking for them. And I think I found like a really old one here too. Um, so yeah, really interesting. I, I actually did not expect to find this many. I was thinking maybe I would find a dozen because when I beach clean, I usually find maybe half a dozen, maybe five or six. So. 25 is a lot <laughs> but again i think it speaks to maybe further discussions we need to have about different methods of cleaning up and also you know what's going on with these i mean i know shotguns have existed before plastics so what were they using before i'd be really curious if anybody knows uh the answer to that question if you can share in the comments because maybe there are more sustainable alternatives to these which i don't as far as i can tell i, I don't think many people are cleaning up after themselves when they go out shooting uh shotguns uh, for hunting or whatever other purposes so i mean maybe on that end people need to be more vigilant picking up this type of stuff when they use it uh, but again are there alternatives i don't know there must be if again there were shotguns before plastic so i don't know but yeah really curious if you guys have insights um and yeah we'll be back next week with more adventures i have some pretty wacky ideas <laughs> for upcoming winter beach clean so if you like this type of stuff there's much more to come uh, and if you subscribe and you hit the bell button below the video here, you'll get updates uh, every week when I post a new crazy video like this. And like I said, there are some interesting ideas, <laughs> beach clean ideas coming up of things I want to try to collect. So um, yeah, if you're new here, thanks so much for watching. If you're returning, thanks so much for watching too. I, the last couple videos, we've gotten hundreds of views, uh, like a dozen new subscribers. And just talking to some of these people has been really I mean, honestly, it sounds cheesy to say, but it has been inspiring to hear their stories and get their insight and input and learn a lot from them in terms of what they notice cleaning and what they're trying to do. And that's what it's really all about is, is sharing these stories and experiences and learning more together about what we can do. So yeah, please subscribe if, if uh, you find this interesting and uh, we'll be back next week with some, uh, some more, more trash. So uh, stay safe out there. Be well. Thanks as always for watching and as always, as well, uh, hope to see you on the beach soon.